Hello all, my name is Abhinav Singh, an assistant professor department of computer science, Kite group of institutions. Today the topic for the discussion is Calic. It is a lossless image compression scheme. It came in 1994 as new lossless image compression scheme. Now Calic, Calic uses both context and prediction of the pixel value. So first part we, we try to find out the prediction uh, predicted value in that and then in the second part we try to find out the vector on that basis of that predicted values. So to understand Calic first we will understand that how we can calculate the prediction error and then we will understand about the vector and the predicted values. Suppose an image is given to us and that image is having some pixel values which is close to its neighbor. Like this. Suppose an image is given to us, pixel has a value which is close to its neighbor. So here we are talking about the x. Now the neighbors of x we mark the values of the neighbors of x. So in the left hand side we write w. Then the neighbor which is on the left side of w is ww. Then in the vertical side we have n and the pixel value which is on the left side of uh, n is nw and same we have mentioned here ne which is in the right side of n. Now the pixel value, the neighbor value which is uh, on the vertical side of n is nn and in the vertical side of ne is nne. Now these marked values are available at both encoder end and at the decoder end. Now on the basis of these uh, values, these pixels which we have marked, we calculate our horizontal value and the vertical value which is respectively dh and dv. Now the formula for calculation of dh is absolute value of w minus ww, n minus nw and n e minus n and we take the summation of that. So this is for the horizontal values because we are considering the neighbors of x. So that's why we did not consider n minus n and e because it is not the neighbor of x. But we will consider those pixels when we calculate the uh, vertical values. That's why we have written those values. So when we calculate the vertical value, so start from the neighbors of x, that is w minus nw, n minus nn, and any minus n any absolute value of all those and then we'll take the summation of that for calculation of vertical value dv now the boundary values will be used to obtain in the initial prediction values of pixel x and whatever the value we'll calculate the value of dh and dv then on the basis of those values if the value of dh is greater than dv then we'll say the horizontal variation and we'll select n in that if the value of dv is greater than dh then we'll say that it is the vertical variation then we'll select w in that if the difference is moderate or small then the weighted average of neighborhood pixels by some following algorithms like see the algorithm 
first two cases when we have the horizontal variation we will select n when we have the vertical variation we will select w but apart from that what we will do that is on the basis of this particular algorithm this particular calculation now we can understand this calculation on the basis of this table itself see we calculate the dv minus dh that is d now if the value of d is lying between 0 to 80 if the value of d is lying between 0 to 80 for an for example i have given one uh, some values of n w n n e w e like that some values i have given when we do the calculation on that with the previous formula of dh and dv we get the value of d in between 0 to 80 in that particular uh, case we say that it is the sharp horizontal edge and we will select the value w for x bar so x bar is one again one new entry in that so on the basis of this dv and dh we select the value of x bar that is either n either w or there is something else that will do on the calculation on the basis of the following given table if my value is lying between 80 to 32 then we will select this following given value if uh, my uh, value is lying between 32 and 8 then that is weak horizontal edge then we calculate the value of x bar with the help of formula 3t plus w divided by 4 if the value of d is lying between some 8 to minus 8 then we say that it is an homogeneous and we select the value of x bar is t and if the value is minus 8 to minus 32 we will say that it is the weak vertical edge here we have given some ideal example where we where the calculation the value of d will be calculated as per the interval is given like suppose if we select one particular table suppose if we are selecting this table and if we calculate d first we calculate dv then dh and if we try to calculate d the value of d will lie between this so when the value will lie d between lie between this we select the value of x bar 3t plus n by 4 okay so that's why on the basis of that i have taken one of the example here see some pixel values are given so dv and dh we have calculated that dv is calculated 100 i mean 200 and the dv is also calculated 200 and the difference is zero the x bar is calculated x bar is a t and because we know when the value of d is uh, zero the value of d is lying between 8 to minus 8 so in that particular case we select the value of x bar is t the value of the formula for t is w plus n by 2 plus n e minus n w by 4 and that the value we have calculated 75 now on the basis of that value we calculate the prediction error that is the value we have predicted earlier we have predicted the value 100 suppose if the value of x is 100 and what we have calculated the value of x bar is uh, 75 so the prediction error will be calculated by the formula x minus x bar and that is 100 minus 75 the value will be 25 now we quantify the information about the neighborhood by forcing the vertex now see the vertexes we have given n values we w that is the n w n e n n w w 2 n minus n n 2 w minus w w now if we uh, let 
the value of these x0 x1 x2 up to x7 so these seven values we need to calculate so on the basis of that we design a binary vector b7 b6 b5 b4 uh, b2 uh, b3 b2 b1 up to b0 now the value will be zero if the xk is greater or equal to x bar and the value will be one if the value of xk is less than x bar so we calculate the value of uh, that xk on the basis of that we find out our binary vector now we compute a quantity uh, by a, of this binary vector by vertical plus horizontal plus previous prediction error whatever the prediction error we have calculated earlier and that prediction value now the range of the value of the range of this uh, value of this binary vector divided into four intervals and each interval is represented by two bits now the context of the residual is taken to be the value of binary vector defined like this between 0 to 1 context 1 between between 0 to q1 between context 1 between q1 to q2 context 2 between q2 to q3 context 3 like this we have generalized or we have calculate our uh, a binary vector on the basis of that so this is all about uh, the calit technique for image compression thank you